Go home and praise the right people. Say good words to them. It will solve most of your problems. Utter the good words and protect your tongue from saying sweet words to those whom those words are going to pierce their hearts and they are not going to be able to do anything halal about it. Remember what I've said. What's the point of going to someone whom you know already that you've already got your quota of four wives, mashallah. You say you're sitting and you're happy. And you go to someone else and you tell them, oh, I love you. You're so beautiful. You're so nice. And oh, wow, nobody's told me that before. <laughs> wow, so lovely and so on. Is there any form of halal outcome of those statements? They said, today we went and we were told to come out and utter good words. So my darling, here's the best of words. Oh, you're gorgeous and so on. Believe me. Who are you talking to? If you are uttering those beautiful words to a person whom they will be processed through in a way that they will want to do something about it which will never be halal. In that case, we are sinning. Remember that. Like the man, they say the one man, and this is also a story that I've heard very recently. His wife tells him, listen, you know what? You have to tell me. You have to swear that you're going to be honest with me. He says, okay, I'm honest. Describe your love for me. So the man says, he thinks for a moment and he says, you know what? You are like my SIM card. I'm like the phone, you know? <laughs> Without you, I'm nothing. Now you know that. <laughs> wow. So the woman goes back so happy and delighted. Wow, I'm so happy. It's the sweetest, most romantic thing I've ever heard. Imagine, without a SIM card, what is a phone? How many of us have phones? No SIM card. Can you have a phone? No SIM card? You have a SIM card. So then he walks out. And as he's walking out, he says, and she's saying, Wow, most romantic word I've ever heard. He says, she doesn't know my phone has a quad SIM. <laughs> Allah protect us. What a dirty mind. What a dirty mind. But this is the problem with us today. We want to utter words that just soothe people's minds when we don't really mean them sometimes. Why would he have spoken about a dual sum or a quad sum if he was sincere? He wouldn't even have uttered that. May Allah protect us. So the reason I raise this is, I know some of the brothers are nudging each other to say there is a quad sum in the market, you know that? <laughs> and believe me, there is. If you Google it, you'll see it on Google Images now. You just have to Google the word quad sim on Google image and you'll see the phone. It's available. But that does not make the relationship any better. We need to know that when you say beautiful words, you need to make sure that you are uttering them to the right person. And you need to make sure you are not being hypocritical by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For your spouse, it's an act of worship to utter words to make them smile, to make them feel desired, to make them feel they are the most important people in the world. There will come a time when you too will feel that definitely they are the most important people in this world.